This one's for KC Slugs. My AEA Challenger Pro. Z. Yes, that's a Zeus tube. That's the long Zeus tube. I get a lot of shots now. Even on high. I have the, um, the shorter, well, sorry, the lower power spring in here. The low power spring in here. And you see I'm on high. Where am I rigged at still? I am still at 160, 170 bar. Let me check my high pressure side. Yep, still above rig pressure. Anyway, like you guys can really see that. So, Casey Slug sent me some dimple nose, 34 grain, uh, 217 size slug, sorry. All out of view, here we go. They measure 217. I think I would like these in 2175 to 218. The Challenger Pro, at least my particular Challenger Pro, likes the um, likes the 217s, but 2175, 218, it seems to really like. I actually have some 219s I'm going to try too, but I think those are a little too big. Anyway, I digress. Got the Arc and Scope on there. Thank you, Too Fast for You, for getting me hooked up on that. He's a Arkin rep, by the way. Yes, that was a blatant call out to him. Shout out. Um, with muzzle brake. Love it. Donnie FL adapter. Love it. Uh, rifle, courtesy of the pellet shop. Pellet shop. Anyway, I'm shooting at work at the 30 yard range. Indoor range. God, I wish it was 50 at least, but they got to do what they got to do, and I'm behind on testing stuff. So, first run with these. Uh, I shot them at, I'll have to show you my power adjuster, but what I call the 10 o'clock position, so it's really close to the lowest power position. That's okay. I mean, literally, uh, well, God, eh, about, yeah, about an inch that way. Um, this one right here, I turned it up to high at 10.22. Um, gotcha. I can't remember the foot panels right away, but I'll talk about it. Anyway, that's covered up. You know, heck, even that right there is about three quarters of an inch. This makes it an inch. Yeah, his slugs like fast. KC slugs love fast. Check it out. Boom. Look at all that. Someone was missing one day. God. It wasn't me. It was um, my buddy Patrick. It was my buddy Evan. It was Paul Clark when he was here. It was everyone but me. Literally. Anyway. So. Again at the 10 o'clock as I call it. 901, 61 foot pounds. Again, these are 34 grain. On high, 1022. That's a big jump. 121 feet per second. Um, 79 foot pounds. That's on high. That still doesn't seem right, but it was right. I'm gonna do the math again. If it's wrong, I'll come back. If it isn't, well, I'm not going back. Anyway, power adjuster. So. Basie's at 12 o'clock. You go this way. 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3. So it was on 10 o'clock. Loves fast. I'm really considering putting the, the heavy, um, more powerful spring in here. And it's just like a coil difference on the springs. It's really weird. They're the same spring diameter and everything. It, it, missing one coil made that much of a difference. This Zeus tube, too bad you guys can't get your Challenger Pros set up like this. That is a godsend because when I have it shooting the, the lighter slugs and I have it like on low, this thing gets so many damn shots. I get like four mag, 48 shots, almost 50 shots. Then when I turn it up to high, shooting 40 again with the low powered spring, I'm still getting more than the FX impact. Heck, I was getting more of the FX impact with the original tube, which is over there by my desk. In fact, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, stared nothing. Stare!
Stop staring, I'm back. I'm back, my darlings, I'm back. Sorry, I had to grab my, um, they should change that to Woka Woka Cola, because they're so woke. Anyway, that's another story. So, here's my original tube. Here it is, compared to the Zeus tube. In fact, let me just, I'll try to lay it somewhat where it's somewhere even. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot of tube right there. That's what she said. Um, it is basically there, and then it is basically double this tube. This is um, 350, that is 660. 660 cc's, not a 700 cc carbon fiber bottle, which are very nice. Um, but I'm really starting to like this cylinder look. I mean, the, you know, it, it's always been around, but man, it looks so much cleaner than having a bottle on here. That would just look obtrusive, just like someone just got lazy. At least this way it looks like someone didn't get lazy and put it together. Also, if you look, I don't have a long rail on her anymore. I was able to source one of these shorter ones from Ben, and Ben was able to get me one of these Zeus tubes. Is Ben making this an option for a Challenger Pro Z? No, he is not. Ben, is. this is a one-off thing. Ben's exact words to me, and I'm gonna kind of bleep it out. Joe, you seem to like that weird effing stuff, shiz. So, yeah, um, <laughs> everything on this rifle, the way it sits, is 15 pounds, five ounces. Even got the XLR Industries knockoff on there. The rifle, I, I had to take that original buttstock off. It looked cool, it matched, but it sucked. It's not because it, not it was a beard puller, I just didn't like it, it wobbled too much. This one clamps on, as you can see. I got this from one of those um, Chinese online retail stores. You know, if you wish to see it, you know, Allie may express it to you. Okay, anyway, um, they're not paying me. Uh, again, the Arkenscope. I put the Monstrum rings on here. They sit so low, and I wanted it low like this. And that's so much better. It's just such a better setup. Um, I got the scope dialed in the street lock, so it gets out there. It gets out there. Anyway, you can't get this setup from Ben at the pellet shop. He's not gonna sell it. Uh, he's not gonna, he, he hated me for it, but Ben was real good about getting me one. But the KC slugs, again, I wish he would have those. In fact, I'm gonna call him and ask him to do these in the 217.5. Uh, the 217s did pretty good. The 2175s would do awesome, or 218, and a little oversized. So, where did that rail go that was on the top of my breech on my Challenger Pro Z? It's right here on my 177 Talon door. It's so nice to have that on there. It's just, I need to get like, 50 of these just to have them around. Uh, Watt guard. The gold color is from Rocky Mountain Precision Air Guns, as is the printed skeleton um, hand grip, pistol grip. Uh, a little cheapy Aon scope, I believe, with a UTG adjustable rail. That scope's not staying on here too much longer. I'm getting something else. Anyway, it's not about the Air Force gun this time. 177. Uh, <laughs> it's about this and the KC slugs. If you guys haven't tried his stuff, contact him. He's on Facebook as KC Slugs. Uh, I think it's the only way. I, oh, he's on Instagram as KC Slug at KC Slugs also. Uh, real good guy. Uh, good old country boy. Uh, I can't hate him. Anyway, there it is. There's my Challenger Pro Z. I'll get more into it later. It's going back on a hunt this weekend, along with a couple other rifles and some. Eh, well, now I'm not testing any more ammo out of this. I've already tested it. Um, but I do have some more slugs to review. Um, so, there you go. Challenger Pro Z. Pellet shop. Woke, I mean Coke. Pellet shop. KC Slugs in the pellet shop. They didn't pay me for this, but hell, maybe they will.